first packages are already some cool things. Um, I have to make this quick because my son is waiting for this. The first item is the original James Bond Goldfinger Aston Martin from Playmobil. Or Playmobil as we call it in Germany. And it has Mr. Bond himself. It has Mr. Goldfinger, Mr. Oddjob and some unknown or unnamed henchmen. And it's the classic um, DB5. It actually has the uh, ramps. It has the uh, wheel cutters or whatever you might call this. The uh, machine guns, the ejector seat and the um, shield, shield, windshield, shield, I would call this. So this is really cool. Has some gold bars inside. Really looking forward to um, put this on display. And my son wants to build this badly. And the second item, I think, is even way cooler. And I will tell you in a minute why. Um, it's the A Team. It's also from Playmobil. It's the A Team van. And it comes with Hannibal, BA, Faceman, and Murdoch. And um, this is so cool for me because I was friends with um, Dirk Benedict back in the day when I had my ga video games company. And um, this thing comes with some equipment, which is rather uninteresting, I guess. Um, but the van itself and uh, the A team. This is just pure retro gold for me, and I love the A Team as a, as a TV show. I guess I watch every um, episode. I have all the um, A Team um, seasons on, I guess, DVD, at least digital. So this is just great. Just came out here in Germany. I don't know when it's coming out uh, around the world, but this is really, really cool. Um, I guess I paid 80 for this, so this is not a cheap toy. This is more like a collector's item. And this is especially cool because this is one of the games I did back in the days and it's never finished. But if you take a look at these characters, they may resemble some people from the A-Team. Uh, this is uh, Beaver, which uh, resembles Murdoch a little with his dynamite and this craziness. This is Faceman, he's a skunk. This is BA, he's some kind of fish. and. Uh, this is Honeyballs, um, which is a very smart fox and the leader of the gang. It's it's a girl, actually. And um, I never finished this game, um, but I still have a preview version, which we showed on Gamescom. And we, we had two tries at this and um, yeah, still didn't manage to finish it. So one day I will finish this. This is the only available box and I framed this, I made this box myself uh, with the or original IBM 16 color sticker down here and stuff like that. This yeah. is because I love the A-Team so much, really. Um, and um, yeah, that is uh, the first stuff to show. Next, I ordered these, and these are batteries, or rechargeable batteries, because the IBO, which I showed in a different video, uh, actually the docking station worked, but the battery pack is dead. And if you open this up, you can see there are actually Exactly the same rechargeable batteries inside, or almost the same. And my plan is to um, change these out. These cost, I guess, 15 euros. If you buy a new battery pack, it costs 100, so this is a good deal. Um, yeah, looking forward to do this and show you the IBO finally working. Up, we have two packages from Poland, and I ordered these from Lotharek or Lotharek. Um, and yeah, he's famous for his flash floppy, I guess. And he has other products too. I guess he didn't design these, but sells this in his Lotharex lair. So the first one would be the so-called Ultra Satan or Ultra Satan, which is a hard disk replacement for the Atari ST. And it plugs directly via these pins into the Atari. And you can use two SD cards to emulate, simulate, or whatever, floppies, um, hard disks, not floppies, hard disks. Yeah, um, I guess there will be a video about this because to install this and to make it um, 
read the hard disks both on the Atari ST um, and the PC is not an easy task. So there will be a video in the future. I guess this is for a, a real-time clock, maybe. Nice. Next up, we have a second Atari item and this is a CO2SD. So this is a floppy emulator for the Atari XL series. Plugs into the floppy port of the XL or the CO port and has a nice display and some buttons and can also use an SD card. And this will also be a video to set this up and um, yeah, to play games on the, on the Atari XL because I only have a data set and that is a bit quirky to do. Okay, so I had to do another take on the Bond Aston Martin because if you usually buy some Playmobil, you, you, you get a plastic bag with some plastic shit in it and you have to assemble it yourself. This is very different. So let me open this up and this is what you get. And this is just awesome. Looks really, really nice. All the figures are built, not completely built, but at least to a point. This is Mr. Bond. It's a bit dusty. It's a bit dusty, Mr. Bond. And Mr. Auric Goldfinger. Fun fact, this guy was played by a German, Gerd Fröbe, who didn't know one word of English. And he told the producers that he was fluent in English. And in the end, they had to um, do his role completely voice over. So he spoke English gibberish in the movie and they had to completely voice over his um, his audio track or his voice with some different actor. But in German, he actually um, does the voice over for himself. This is Oddjob, the guy with a hat. I don't know why he has this hat plate. No idea. And here's some random henchmen, also a little bit dusty. And here is the main attraction, which is the car. And you can open up the roof for the ejector seat. Haven't assembled this yet. My son is still waiting. So, question is, where is the rest of the stuff? Might be in here. Let's check. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay, there's the, the usual Playmobil plastic bag stuff. And there's always, always also a third one. Now, ah, here are the wheels, and that is it. No, there's a, another one. Oh, okay. Here's all the chrome stuff. So this is a really nice presentation. Don't know if it's worth the 80 bucks I paid, but looks nice, has a nice instruction manual. Oh, even with some character info. They m very much go the Lego route with these special editions. Um, yeah, not much to build here. It's only three or four pages, um, but it just looks Awesome. We'll show you when it's built. And here's a look at the Bond car. And you can see Mr. Goldfinger there, some henchmen. And this henchman, if you watch the scene in Goldfinger, is actually the guy who gets ejected out of the seat. Mr. Oddjob, a few gold bars. And the main attraction, the car, which has the um, switching. Uh, not that easy. Number plates. It's hard to do with one hand. So you can do that. The front and the back. You have the oil spreaders and smoke generators. You have the wheel cutters here, which you can pull out with the other hand on all four sides. You have the injectable roof. You have the um, bulletproof shield in the back. Also the um, rollable plates here and the smoke and oil. One really lame thing is that you can't even open a door.
that doesn't go. But what you can do is you can place some character in here, say the injector guy, put on the roof, and then there's the exhaust pipe. And if you push there, Go. Next up we have an eBay package. Oh, show you this. I mean, why? There's even clothing in here. What is this? Let's try to cut this open very carefully. some rusty shit going on here that is not at all what I bought and especially not with this switch here what is this so let's take a look oh man that doesn't look good oh okay and here it comes open the problem here. Some bent metal. Okay, so what do we make of this? I have no idea. Well, this should be the 3040 floppy. It says 4040 up here. I have no idea why. Uh, there seems to be th something missing here, like the floppy controller. Not sure about that either, but it plugs in here, so maybe uh, this is held in by w just one screw. Seems to be a little less than expected. Okay, so this is some kind of janky mod, I assume. So someone took a 3040 floppy and tried to mod it into a 4040 floppy. Not quite sure what the difference is. Um, it's dusty, that's for sure. And it's, it has some bent metal because, because it was barely possible to open this. Um, and it is rusty and dusty and shit. And it wasn't... This is defi definitely a different item than I bought. I will show the picture of that uh, somewhere here. Yeah, so this is supposed to work with my pet, but it also doesn't come with the proper connector cable. That one. That goes here and into the pet. So that will be interesting to build one of these cables. Yeah, I guess there's an upcoming video about that. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> that is not oh, great. Here's a promised look at the A-Team van and I think the characters came out really nicely. One thing I noticed is that in my package the um, things for the arms by for face are missing and that one of the gold chains for BA is missing. So you can fill out a form on the Playmobil side to get replacements. Let's take it inside the van, which is quite nice. Some details, not many. And the front. It's pretty much a standard Playmobil car. Not much to see here. But it's uh, actually cool that they did a, sp a special mold for the Ace hat um, and stuff like that. So I put them all in the car. OK, 
close the doors. Now here's some welding stuff in the toolbox. And they even have this sliding door, kind of. Yeah, so this is the A-Team truck, which I think came out pretty nicely. For watching Retro is the new black. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you like the video, please share. Every like, share, and comment helps a lot. Until next time, bye-bye.